tools in Print Preview dialog box. In this lesson, we will see all the tools present in Print Preview dialog box. Let's start with Pick Tool. Using Pick Tool, you can change image dimensions manually by moving any of the eight sizing handles. You can easily hold it from cross and move it from wherever you want to place it. The next tool is Imposition Layout Tool. Imposition Layout Tool lets you print more than one copy of a whole graphic on a single page. You can use the presets to imposition the layout such as Book, Booklet, Trend Card, Side Fold Card and many more, or you can make multiple thumbnails of the graphic on one page as per your requirement. Let's see how this tool works. As you click on this tool, you will get a one-up look of the graphic. But don't worry, this is only a representation. When you click this Template and Document Preview icon, which is right here in Property Bar, you are able to see a live representation. Now if you want to put more than one graphic, then just adjust the values for option, pages across and down, which is right here. As you change the value, your image is getting copied in rows and columns. Are you able to see these crop marks here? You can easily cut from here and get number of copies. You can divide your pages from current imposition layout list. Just choose any appropriate option. You can use this tool after designing visiting card for a number of copies from the same page. The next tool is Marks Placement Tool. This tool provides printing printers marks which lets you display information on a page about how a work should be printed. You can specify the position of the printers marks on the page. The available printers marks are Marks Alignment Rectangle. Here you can adjust the values to adjust the alignment rectangle marks. Print File Information. Print File Information prints file information, such as the color profile, half-tone settings, name, date, and time the image was created, the plate number, and job name as well. Page Numbers. Page Numbers helps you to collate pages of an image that do not include any page numbers or do not contain page numbers that correspond to the actual number of pages. Crop and Fold Marks Crop and Fold Marks represent the size of the paper and print all the corners of the page. You can print Crop and Fold Marks to use as guides to trim the paper. If you print multiple pages per sheet, for example two rows by two columns, you can choose to print the crop and fold marks on the outside edge of the page so that all crop and fold marks are removed after the cropping process. Or you can choose to add the crop marks around each row and column. Crop and fold marks ensure that marks appear on each plate of a separated CMYK file. Registration marks Registration marks are required to line up film for proofing or printing plates on a color press. They print on each sheet of a color separation. Color calibration bars. Color calibration bars are color scales that print on each sheet of a color separation and ensure accurate color reproduction. To see calibration bars, the page size of the print job must be larger than the page size of the work you are printing. Densitometer scale. Densitometer scale is a series of gray boxes ranging from light to dark. These boxes are required to test the density of halftone images. You can position the densitometer scale anywhere on the page. You can also customize the levels of gray that appear in each of the seven squares on the densitometer scale. The next tool is Zoom Tool. You all know the basic use of Zoom Tool to reduce or magnify the view of a drawing. 
So, without wasting time, we'll see icons present in property bar. This is zoom in, and this is zoom out, to reduce or magnify the view of a drawing. Next is zoom one to one. This graphic will be magnified in proportion. Next is zoom to selection. The shortcut for this option is Shift plus F2 on the keyboard. It will magnify only the selected portion. Next is zoom to fit. The shortcut key for this option is F4. It will magnify the whole graphic to fit the screen. Next is zoom to page. The shortcut key for this option is Shift plus F4. It will magnify the whole page. Next is zoom to width. It will magnify graphics along width. Next is zoom to height. It will magnify the graphic along the height. Next is zoom. It will take you to the zoom window. Here you will get all zoom options with different percentage values. This is the icon to close print preview window. You can click this across here also to close it, which will lead you to the main CorelDRAW X3 window. So before closing this lesson, I personally suggest you guys to use Print Preview window before printing.